onto the site because we have four feet of snow out here. Mm -hmm. And uh, at, at that time, we were fabbing the steel up at our shop and we were just waiting for the, the weather to kind of turn around. So it actually worked out good because once we cleared the snow, the, uh, it never really snowed after that. Yeah. You've been thinking that later. Yeah, we were, we were figuring the summer and the fall, so it's, uh, it's, it's a little disappointing, but reality set in and we just got to run with it. We installed all the columns, all the verticals, all the horizontal beams and everything. We've got the whole roof on. We've got um, some of the groundwork that we're starting on on the inside. We've got the pits for the lanes. We've got, uh, we're gonna start pouring those next week. So that'll be the first concrete inside the building. And uh, that's, that'll, that'll be pretty exciting when that happens. But uh, we've got drainage that we're doing out front and uh, a little bit of site work here and there. But once we get the Walls secured on the outside, we should be able to fly in the inside, but it, it's nice to see that it's looking like a construction site now. There we'll have four 12-foot units and we'll have one 16-foot unit with a nice open bar with 12 seats at it. Um, there'll be like a nice uh, upscale field, country club field. And we're still cramping every square inch of the entire facility, trying to get more room. We wish we had more room in the things we want to do. But the name of the restaurant is going to be what? what the time? name of the restaurant will be the Firewater Bar and Grill. We held a contest on Facebook, uh, gave the community some opportunities to get some feedback from them and, uh, and, and get everybody to interact and see what, what really worked. But Firewater, it's uh, Native American oriented, it's, it's, it's the Native American alcohol, so I think it fit with the Native American motif that we were trying to go for. So we've got a wolf mascot that we're getting, we're waiting for it to come in and uh, that'll be the next uh, competition. How many people are you getting? 200, 250 people. It's just it, it gets people engaged and excited and uh, gives them a little inside scoop of what, what we're trying to do and really what's going on inside. And once we start getting some renderings and start getting some um, some photos of what we're really doing inside, we can release them to the public, get them online on our Facebook, and uh, and, and get people you know, a little bit more excited. We are probably going to get, we've got a, a train entertainment that's uh, helping us with our grand opening and setting up our sales and administrative end um, and they're going to help us do our grand opening. What, what date do you think you might be uh, kind of completed? We're looking for, major we're trying to finish obviously the first part of September. That's our goal date, whether it's realistic or not, depending on weather. That's what we're shooting for. So, so we can do the fall leagues and um, get ready for the holiday season. So, uh, but that's our goal. So. But we're moving a lot better now than we were, so.